and the sun is out and there's some shooting going on. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. We thought it is such a lovely day today that we would go for a nice walk in Arley Hall. It's a beautiful place. It is. By the way, Jörg has been to the hairdresser this morning. How do you feel? Good. You've done a good job. Yeah, it was about time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're still in Cheshire, of course, and we've been here so many times. Yeah. And we should go inside and then film for you. Yeah, because it's a wonderful garden. Yeah, probably not not many blooms at this time yes. of year, but it's a beautiful hall, and we will tell you more about it once we're in. Yeah. And the sheep are enjoying the sunshine as well. So these are houses on the estate itself that you can rent or buy. I remember last year there was, no it was even this year, there was a house on the premises here and it was on Rightmove which is the main website for houses and flats and we're going to the, I think, sorry about the bins, to the so-called grove now, which is part of the gardens. This is the chapel. And Jörg is waiting for me. Ah, oh, it's so lovely today. It's cold, but amazing. We have never filmed the view from here, but you know why, Jörg? Uh, I think because we never came in December. It was no. always like spring or summer, so... So I think this was the house that was for sale on Right Move. Probably, yeah. But I remember we do like the outside, but uh, we had a look at the pictures and we didn't really like the inside and it was too expensive. Yes. It was. This is the library, but I'm not sure if you can see it because it's so amazing. We, I think we went inside last year Look, the Christmas tree. Yes, I can see it.
Can you say something about Ali Hall itself? Yeah. I think the hall has been here for 400 years. So it's not the original one which you see now. I think there's been a, a much older house here. Yes. But it dates back, I believe, until Tudor times. Wow. I think this one, what we see now, was built between like 1832 yes. and 1849, yeah. something like yeah. that. Don't quote me so on it. It's Victorian times. Yeah. And we have to say something. This is Tommy Shelby's house. Yes. So <laughs> it's been used as a filming location for Peaky Blinders. And we have to yeah. say, I know a lot of you don't like Peaky Blinders and I was the same because, yeah, I'm not like really into violence. Yeah. But I think Peaky Blinders is like you get so drawn into the characters. Yeah, the storyline is interesting. It's really, you can't stop watching. Yeah. I watched it first and then I said to Jörg, you've got to watch it. And then he was like, I love it, yeah. although it's, it's violent. Yes. yes, but it's also been used for other things like I think the Antiques Roadshow is yes, here yeah. once in a while. Yes. And the BBC uses it for, for certain things. Yeah. And so I, I, I read, I think this year was supposed to be an antique fair, yeah. which would have been great for yeah. us. So maybe it will happen next year and we can we'll go. See. But uh, you should see, it is it is a beautiful yeah. house. And you know what, yeah, yeah. I remember the scene. Like Arthur and Peaky Blinders, did they have a fight here? Yes. Right in front yes. of the house? Yes. <laughs> it's so funny. And over there is the Christmas tree and yeah. we tried to film it but I think it's it's so hard to see. But it looks amazing. Do you fancy a tea? Yes, I do. Me too. And we wanted to mention that Cheshire, where we live. So we we just came out of a lockdown that yeah. lasted four weeks. Four weeks, and then we are now divided into different tiers. Yeah, and we're in tier two. Yes, that means you can still you can travel within yeah. the tip, I don't know, within this Yeah, you can tier. visit some places, go into gardens and parks. And travel into a tier one yeah. zone. But as soon as you're in tier three, 
You yes. have to stay. Yeah, it's like virtually like lockdown again. Yes, yes. That's why uh, we actually wanted to go to, we remember in one of the videos, we wanted to go to Derbyshire yeah. at the end of November. Yeah, which we can't do now. Where we rescheduled for December, actually. We didn't tell you because we wanted to wait what's going to happen. Yeah. And Derbyshire went into tier three, so we can't go. But we it's booked a, something. Some, somewhere else. Yes, we booked something really nice. Which we were not going to tell you now. No, <laughs> don't be like that. You know, we will go to Norfolk. We're not. I told you not to tell them. Tell them. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not going to show it, but. Um... No, you're going to tell him. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, stop. Well, we're going to Norfolk, but we're not going to show you where. No. Where exactly? Hopefully, it's something nice. But... At least it's very remote. This remote? Yes, yes it's remote. Uh, but, uh, well, Norfolk is in tier two and we've never been so that should be nice yeah it will be yes What have you got? Such a troll. Let me have Salad. a closer look. This looks like fish. Yes, sausage it's small. Sausage troll? With salad and some oh, that, that looks divine. Mm. Yours looks amazing, Jörg. This is what I've got. Vegetable soup and tea. Is it? I don't know. Can you check? Yeah. So we want to go to a 
to an antique. I don't know if it's a center or a shop. I wrote it down. I've got it in the car. Yeah. And it's open until five. Yeah, I guess it's two o'clock now. That would be would be fine. Yeah. So how was your sausage roll? Excellent. Was it? Yeah. You and know. It's, and it's the first time I had sausage roll with chutney. And it was delicious. We have oh, you are so bright, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Look, I know. look how bright you are. I know. There's something I'm a bright guy. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? Try again. Come closer. There's something going on. Yes, now there you are. Yeah. So I said you have to we should do sausage rolls. Yeah. We should make them again at home. Yes. And then with chutney. Yeah, because I've never had it with chutney. It was mm, Which is delicious. pathetic. We've been living here for almost five years. Yes. So it's ridiculous actually. Every day is a school day. Yes. <laughs> So, what about winter shopping, Jörg? Forget it. I uh, looked something up on the internet. And it was a disappointment. A huge disappointment. Yeah. It was just a very small, like, one room. Yeah. And we stayed there for about 60 seconds. Yeah, because... We couldn't film. It wasn't much. It wasn't interesting. It, I don't know if... If we didn't see something, but uh, it, I, I don't know what happened. No. It looked different on the internet. Just a disappointment. At least Arley Hall was nice. Yes. And I think I have something really nice for you at home. A nice surprise. Oh, let's see. So at least that's good. And yeah, we're going home now. It's sad. What was that? Yeah, we're going home now and, I don't know, I was really looking forward to some uh, yeah. browsing, but I don't know no. what's going on. So, we're, uh, we're sorry about that, but, uh, yeah. These things happen. Yes. Oh, you know, I just... Um, I just opened the door for Santa Claus. No, not Santa Claus. Nikolaus, of course. Yeah. And that's, it seems, that's what he left. And Ooh. he said, it's for you. Yeah, it's my shoe. Yeah. yeah. So you should have a look. Yes. This is Nikolaus. Yes. Just for you. And you know, only children who are not naughty get something. So that's why I got something. <laughs> Let's see. So, what did Nikolaus bring? Yes. Oh, sh chocolate. I think, I think that's marzipan. Could be marzipan. Yeah. And Nikolaus. And Nikolaus. Yes. Oh, chocolate. Punch. Yeah. Mmm. Handsome. <laughs> oh. Brandy. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. And marzipan. More marzipan. Oh. You seem to... Well, it seems that you were very nice. I was. I'm convinced I was. I think we should explain what Nicolas means for us. Yes. So on, I think it's December 5th of the T Today, today yeah. is actually, I think the official, official, sorry, St. Nicholas is, is tomorrow. No, it's the 6th. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, but what we do is, on the 9th of the 5th to the 6th, St. Yes. Nicholas comes to your house. Yes. And he brings you some sweets, some treats, some gifts, and puts it in your shoes. Yes, you usually, you put your shoes out, yes. and then Nicholas knocks or rings the doorbell yeah. and then you open the door and there are your yeah, shoes. That's so how you. Sweet, uh, yes. Uh, where I come from, mm -hmm. we just put out the shoes and in the morning when you wake up, they're filled. 
Yes, we you is that seems to be different. We do it on the fifth at night, yeah. and you do it in the morning. Yes, but uh, it's still sweet and. Just that, you know, I actually, I told you that yeah. he shouldn't give me anything because it's too much yes. chocolate. And don't swap Santa Claus for Chris for St. Nicholas. For, uh, yes. In Germany, that's two different, two different things. Yes, two different yeah. people. <laughs> yes. yes. Usually St. Nicholas is depicted as a kind of bishop with a red coat on it. Yes, yes. Uh, and, yeah, Saint, Santa Claus is... The Weihnachtsmann in Germany. And we we just keep this tradition. Yeah. Even my parents do like we there's no age limit. Yeah. We just love it. It's nice. So then thank you, Saint Nicholas. My pleasure. Enjoy. I hope you know what I think is really good. Yeah. I know. This one. It's a sweet treat. There. It's in German We Weihnachtsschokolade. So Christmas, Christmas chocolate. chocolate and really good because it's from Lind. <laughs> <laughs> and we just returned from Arley Hall and I think I will call my parents now to ask whether Nicholas was already there. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know, it's just such a lovely tradition, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You know what, we all also sometimes get like the, I wouldn't even know the the English term Weckmann, the Weckmann, like oh, um, it's like a gingerbread man, but yeah, not but <laughs> without ginger. Yeah, without <laughs> no ginger. ginger. It, no, it's it's something it's with good. yeast. Yeah, really, it's like bread. Really good, but so sweet, so good. Maybe you know what I will do? I will find a picture and then just um, show it. Show it here on the screen. Good morning. Good morning, my dear. We forgot to open our Atman calendars actually two days in a row. And we thought we would do that with you. And I have to make a confession. We didn't even know <laughs> how silly is that. No. This Atman calendar, we've never had one like that before. No. Because it will last until January, not only until the 24th, but until, I think, January 1st. Yes, because here, you can see here, it's, yeah, you can it's January see. the 1st. Yes, but so, now, so today is, well, you know, can you just hold it? So, the 5th was... Here? Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, I need your help. Otherwise, I'm going to destroy it. Ah! Oh, see? This Atman calendar is amazing. Two marsupial hearts. And six is... Uh, Up here. Yes. Oh, what's that? Nikolaus? It's a Nikolaus, I think. Yes, it is. That's Sam. Um... Hang on, it's not focused. I love this Atman calendar. And now, and now, let's check out yours. What? Number five and six. So they're different kinds of marzipan. Yeah. And. So this, I think, is the the classic one yeah. that I've known all my life. You too. And this one is, I believe, can you can you hold it? It says orange. Oh, I love orange. I think, you know, I think that's my favorite. What's yours? I don't know. I, I think... like all of them. <laughs> To be quite honest with you, we totally forgot to film the end of this video yesterday. Yeah. So we thought we would end it with our advent calendars and our German Nikolaus, which is yes. today. Mm. So it's a sweet treat for us. <laughs> yes. 
and we hope you liked it and until next time yeah. take care of yourself take care and stay safe yes so see you soon bye 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 bye